Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Hartstern. I want to talk to you in this video about doing some multi-view sketches. That involves doing some uh, isometric drawing and doing a top, front, and right face of that part. First one we're going to do is this one here. It takes six pieces to make this one. Start off with a U. And I'm going to take this piece here and uh, we're going to put it on this end. So that's what the part looks like. Now I have to pick my best front view, and there's a couple of viable options. It's not this one back here, because then this line back here is going to be hidden. I'm not going to do this side, because then this piece up in here is hidden. And this one is our only real good option. So I see one, two, three, four, five blocks. That's most of my object. This way, I have some hidden lines, and I'd only see four blocks. So this is my best way. Now I need to think about how does it look being oriented over here. And uh, it's kind of hard with the camera angle here. But being put on my paper like this is probably going to be my best option. This isn't too terrible either. But this block is going to block this bottom corner. It's going to be hard to see if there is one down here or not. Uh, so I'm going to keep it up on its edge like this. This one here also isn't too terrible. Uh, but again, this block is going to cast a bit of a shadow into this hole. So I'm going to do it like this. I always suggest putting it on your paper in the correct orientation. I'm going to start off by doing this front corner and working my, my, working my way back from there. This box here is my front of this one. Now I have the front box, this piece here. I've got this side piece, that's this one here. And I've come all the way up, and that is this big vertical line right here. And that is right there. There it is. That is this part on here. Notice this edge. I can't see where this bottom edge, where it ends. I okay, can't see that. That's why it kind of comes back into there. I'm going to do some shading to make this look a little more realistic. So I've shaded everything on my front side as extra dark and I've shaded everything from my top view as medium. And I'm going to leave the other side completely unshaded. And we're going to zoom back out here. Now I'm going to start by doing my front view. So again, here's my part. I can take it, lay it right down, and that's what this thing should look like. Again, I'm showing the ang angle a little bit off so it's not squared up, but uh, that is about what it should look like. I am going to make sure that this is in a pretty good place. I need to make sure I'm going to line up my front view and my right side later. So I need to make sure that I'm out below this isometric paper. Uh, I'm going to go right around in here. That is the outer edge of my part. Now I need to draw this change here from this dark shader region back to this one that is this line right here and that is it if you look at your part two that's the only change in elevation between your pieces on your part okay now we need to draw a right side so i'm going to take this and i'm going to do, do 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 right over to here and this one if we're just basing off of our isometric drawing it is the all white region and remember, there we go, when doing this, we need to make sure that our front and our right side view line up. So it should be exactly that same height. Okay, that should be good with the outside edges. I haven't done any of the inside pieces. See this change here? Difference between this white back to this white. So that's an object line. I see that. But back here, there is a change that is hidden. I can't see it from the side. So I've got to do this as a dashed line or a hidden line. And I'm going to do the same thing down in here. 
So what that is showing is this edge up top and that edge down bottom, down in there. So two hidden lines on that right side view. Back to my front, got to do the top. I'm going to do the same thing here. That has to line up with my front view. And this is going to be the medium shaded region that I'm drawing now. So again, that's my outer edge. Now this dip that comes down in here, that cutout, that chunk that comes in, I need to draw that as a hidden line up on my top view. And that is it there. Oh, nope, sorry. Change from this edge down to here. That's an object line. So that is just showing the difference between this top block and this block down here. That was an elevation change, so I need to do my line. All right, that's all of them on this one. That's a good example. Let's, uh, you want to do one more? Nah, it's an eight-minute video. I'll do that in a separate video. But this is one isometric drawing with its uh, multi-view pairs here. And again, this is my front, my right, and my top. Don't forget, I'll do this in a different color. These should line up just like these should line up. When we later, when we do our dimensioning, I want to put my dimensions in here, in here, over here, or over here. So these are the places that are the first place that I would like to put dimensions. After that, I could maybe put some outside, but again, I want to put them inside first. This is just one drawing. I'll maybe do a video of a couple more. Just throw them in a playlist so you guys can watch a couple of them being done. Hope this was helpful. If it was, click that like button down there. And subscribe if you haven't already so you can see when these videos come out. And uh, comment if you have any good things to say or bad things to say that you think I should change. Uh, if you don't like the camera angle or if it's too bright, too dark, stuff like that. I don't always notice. Let me know if that's something that you think I should change. Hope you have a great day and make sure you stay away from drugs.